Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and it's the last day of the month which means it is time for the show us your sheet load feature. Today I'll be sharing viewer cards and happy mail. I hope you'll stick around and see what came this month. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. I have a couple favorite videos each month that I get to share. The first one is when I share a look with you at the collaborator cards created for the month using the latest sheet load of cards. And the second is when I get to share subscriber cards using both the sheet load of cards and just ones that are sent in for fun. The latter is what I'll be sharing today. And if you're interested in seeing those collaborator cards from January 2021, make sure to check out the sheet load showcase video linked in the description box below. I just love to see what people do with sheet load of cards. And as some of you already know, you are able to show us your sheet load each month. Now, if you're new and you don't know about show us your sheet load, I do have a video linked in the description box below with more details, but basically you can share a video here on YouTube, a post on Instagram, or you can send in the card for the end of the month video. If you want to share a video or an Instagram post for the month, make sure to use those provided hashtags that I give. Most months are at the top of the sheet load of cards, but if it's an older edition, it is always in the video description of the debut video or the process video. Today I'll be sharing what got sent in, but if you're interested in seeing the videos and Instagram posts, I will link the show us your sheet load playlist below here on YouTube and I will link up the search over on Instagram for hashtag S-U-Y-S-J-A-N 2021. Those will all share cards that use the latest sheet load of cards. If you'd like to send me a card, but it's not necessarily a sheet load card, my P.O. box is always listed in the description box below. I'd just love to go there each week, see an envelope in the box when I open it up, and I would love to share it with my viewers as well. Are you ready to see what came this month? Stephanie R. of Texas has sent in this first card. She has used the August 2020 sheet load of cards to create this beautiful metallic butterfly card. She is a veteran card maker, but she has just recently discovered sheet load of cards. Stephanie, I am looking forward to seeing your artwork each month. Thank you so much for sending in a card and for becoming a subscriber. Laurel D. of California is another new face to the end of the month feature. This is the first sheet load she has sent in and she used the January 2021 layout and she has used one of the pages from the free printable I provided. I just think those check boxes are so fun. Also, over here on the right, she shared with me her, a little about her system of how she stores and organizes her stamps. And if you've been watching my videos this month, you might know that I'm trying to do the same thing here. So this was really helpful and it's definitely something I'm going to consider. She color codes according to occasion and her stamp set could have different occasions colored in on each label. Thanks so much for sharing your card and your organization tips, Laurel. And another new face to the show us your sheet load feature is Jerry Ann A of Washington. She has used the January 2021 sheet load of cards also, but her card has a special little hidden feature. Check this out. She has turned it in to a fun fold card. How awesome, Jerry Ann. Thank you so much for sharing this. 
And next is an adorable card from Teresa R. of Florida. Now, Teresa is not new to sheet load of cards, but she does have a new name. You might know her as the former owner of Scrapping for Less, and now her YouTube and blog and Instagram have all been rebranded to Fresh and Renewed with Teresa. Make sure you check out her channel if you're not already subscribed. Thanks also, Teresa, for those cute little cut-aparts. You've definitely heard me talk about Debbie V from Florida before. She is the crafty YouTuber who made my little pin that goes in my glue bottle so it doesn't dry out, and she has sent in various cards that I've featured here. But this is her first time making a sheet load of cards. How exciting is that? I am just loving seeing all the new people coming to sheet load this month. Thank you so much, Debbie, for sending this in and giving sheet load a try. Cherie P. of Missouri is another Show Us Your Sheet Load newbie. She has sent in this lovely card using the January 2021 layout. I especially like how she has rounded the corners on that vertical strip. That is so fun. Cherie said that she is using sheet load of cards to help her use up her pattern paper stash. Same here, Cherie. Same here. Jill B. of Maryland sent me this adorable little house mouse Christmas card with a very kind note inside. And also it had this little card that had a pop open window with an inspirational message. Thank you so much, Jill, for sending this in. Wanda R. of Virginia sent in two cards this month. On the left is a gorgeous tropical card with a beautiful butterfly featuring the December 2020 sheet load of cards. And then over on the right, she sent me a little holiday postcard. I think both are just so adorable. Thank you, Wanda. Jennifer D. of California sent in two cards as well this month. They are both just fantastic winter-themed cards. The one on the left features the December 2020 sheet load of cards, and the one on the right features January 2021. Thanks so much, Jennifer, for continuing to send in cards each month. Yvonne K. of Wisconsin sent in a beautiful collection of four cards this month. They all use various sheet load of cards layouts. I am loving the details on each one. And how sweet was she that last month um, I saw these cute little plastic stars on a card and she sent me in some. Thank you so much, Yvonne. That was so kind of you. Charlotte B. of Texas has once again taken the time to send me in some of her beautiful artwork and cards. The two pieces on the center came together. The fruit basket is a card with a lovely note inside. And then she has sent me a little piece of her artwork. And as I was voicing over my video for yesterday, I said I had a couple light bulb moments. So this really was timely. And over on the right, she has created that cat on the front of the card. The video does not do it justice. It is absolutely stunning. She let me know that she would love to have a cat, but because of allergies in the household, she can't. And Charlotte, keep up hope because we never had pets. My husband was is allergic to dogs and we broke down during quarantine and we got my daughter two cats because she's been wanting them forever. And long story short, we found out my husband is allergic, but he is so in love with them now, there's no way we could give them up. So I hope that one day you can have some cats of your own. Thank you again for sending in your beautiful artwork. Sandra D. of Michigan sent in three cards this month. Again, they use various sheet loads of cards. On the left is December, on the right is January, and I think the middle one might be October or November. Sorry, I'm not in front of my papers to know. I just love all of these. Thank you so much, Sandra, for sending these in. Cheryl M. of North Carolina is another new face to show us your sheet load, and she sent in so many cards this month that I actually have to have two pictures of her. They just overflow. I love how it looks like she used every single sheet load there was. It was such a fun walk down memory lane to see all of these. 
She said she spent her Christmas break from teaching high school making cards. Cheryl, everything is so beautiful. Thank you for taking the time to make these and send them in. Pamela B. of North Carolina is another new face this month. She has sent me six cards. Five of them use various sheet load of cards layouts. Those are the ones along the top and the sides. And then in the bottom, she made a beautiful slimline card with a very nice note inside. Thank you and welcome, Pamela. Karen C. of Virginia was super busy with the January 2021 sheet load of cards. She has sent in five cards this month, all of them using that layout. I think it is so neat to see how different papers and different matting and non-matting can make that same layout look so different. I'm especially loving that sparkle on the one in the bottom right. Thank you so much, Karen. And last but certainly not least is a set of four cards sent in by Janet A. of Tennessee. She has used various sheet load of cards layouts for these. And then the two on the left are actually part of a special series she has here on her YouTube channel. She uses the sheet load layout along with the monthly paper pumpkin to make alternatives. I will link her channel below if you'd like to check that out. Thanks so much, Janet. I hope you enjoyed getting a look at all of the lovely creations that got sent in this month. I know that I certainly did. I just want to say thanks again to everyone who took the time to make and send in a card or multiple cards and for the little artworks. If you enjoyed today's video, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Until my next video, which will be the brand new sheet load of cards, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.